Mark said, quote. The Miss Universe Philippines beauty pageant was held on October 25th. It is now the 3rd of November, and corporate media networks still continue to bombard people with nonsense news about it. Social media sites are still flooded with informational thread about the personal lives of the contestants. Most Filipinos are obsessed with petty things. Most Filipinos don't give a damn about important news and current affairs. Corporate media and Filipino citizens should pay more attention to the aftermath of Typhoon Roley. Corporate media should focus more on the news about massive corruptions, extrajudicial killings, red tagging, land grabbing and violation of human rights in the Philippines. Filipinos should pay more attention to important issues and less to nonsense crap. Unquote. Where is the Philippine president? The president is missing from first high-level briefing on Typhoon Roley. President Duterte is still missing in action, hours after the first landfall of Super Typhoon Roley, the world's strongest tropical cyclone this year. Duterte's longtime aide Senator Bongo said on Saturday October 31st, that the president is monitoring the typhoon from Mindanao. However, there was no indication that the president was joining, even through video conferencing. Mark said, quote. Most politicians in the Philippines are nowhere to be found during the crisis, but when donations and funds started to pour in, they are popping out like mushrooms very quickly. Many of them are using the donations from private individuals, to promote themselves and for their own personal advantages. Look at the super typhoon Yolanda back in 2013 for instance. We need leaders who genuinely care for the well-being of the citizens, not for the well-being of just for themselves. Unquote. About Communism in the Philippines Mark said. In my own opinion. There are people, who will join the armed communist rebel group, as long as social injustice, economic inequality, oppression, exploitation and repression would not stop. 
It's a psychological nature of a man to express his grievances against something that he is not in favor of. Some falls into last resort, by joining the armed communist rebel group. Suppressing and repressing the grassroots would not help at all. It just makes the matter worse. If the government is serious about ending armed communism in the Philippines, then social injustice, economic inequality, exploitation, oppression and repression must end first. Unquote. Socialist Senator Bernie Sanders tweeted. Donald Trump has gotten $885 million subsidies for his real estate empire, $287 million of his debt was cancelled, a $73 million tax refund, a free medical service at a 100% government-run hospital. Donald Trump loves socialism for himself, but rugged individualism for the rest. Mark said, quote, Democrats or Republicans? What is the difference? Both political parties are corrupt to the core. The United States of America won't be sarcastically called corporate America without a reason. Most US politicians are nothing but corporate puppets. Americans need genuine leaders like Senator Bernie Sanders and Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. What we need in the United States is democratic socialism. Unquote. In late 2019, the socialist president of Bolivia was ousted from presidential office, through an alleged military coup. Allegedly, Bolivia's oligarchs, crony businessmen and top-ranking military officials who were backed by the United States, meticulously planned a coup to oust the president. A far-right United States-backed politician took over. One year later, the political party of the exiled socialist president, won the election in a landslide victory. Mark said, quote, It's a devastating news for the United States, yes indeed. Just imagine all the efforts, money and lives they threw, to oust the champion of the people who they couldn't tame. Most Bolivians are not politically stupid. They understand, that the United States has no desire to end and forget its imperialism grip over Bolivia. Most Bolivians have no desire to go back under imperialistic rule. President Evo freed them and they are thankful. For decades, Latin America has been the United States' backyard. The United States must play the fair game.
The United States has no right to mingle in other countries' internal affairs. The United States must respect other countries' sovereignty. Unquote.